how to differentiate what? Sine inverse, how to differentiate. How to differentiate what? The following function. That is all sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, and cot inverse. Okay, so I as sine y is equal to sine inverse of x cos inverse of what of x that is i i i i i i i y is equal to tan inverse of x i v equal to cot inverse of what cot inverse of x Okay, so how to differentiate this following function? So here, straight away, solution. For i, y equals to sine inverse of x. Please be careful. Sine inverse of what? X can never be equal to. 1 over what? Sine x. If you put half into this one, if you let x be equal to half and you put it in, inside this one, you will get something like half, then 1 over what? Sine half. And the answer wouldn't be equal. This one, the answer would be what? 30. For this one, the Inverse the answer will be 30, and this one the answer will be what 114. Okay, so they are not equal, so you can't do it in the something like this. So, what you have to do is you have to do something like creativity, you have to do something like creativity. So, the creativity here is like you multiply both sides by what by sign. So, if you multiply both sides by sign, you will get sign y equal to sine sine or inverse of what x but look at something sine inverse sine sine inverse is just like x times x inverse or when you have what something like two times what two got two times two times what two inverse and then to give you one so any number times its inverse or any variable times its inverse always gives us what? It gives us one. So it means that this whole thing over here give you, gives what? Gives one. So it, it means that we have sine y equal to one times what? X. And is equal to sine y equal to what? X. Okay. So here is simple. So the next one is from high school, if you have something like 2x plus 3y equal to something like 0, if I ask you to find, differentiate this one, you're going to get 2 plus 3. But because this one is y, you're going to attach it to the word dy, the word ds, which is equal to 0. Then you try to make what dy the subject, dy ds the subject, and get negative 2 over what, 3. From high school, we are going to do the same thing here. So here, you can choose to bring the x to the left hand side, or you can choose to what to send the what sign y to the right hand side. So anything, if you like, you can also hold on to what, to this one. You differentiate the right hand side, then you differentiate to what the left hand side. So if you differentiate sine y, you're going to get what cos y. But because of the y, you're going to attach it to the word dy dx, like this, which is equal to, then you differentiate the right hand side, you get what? 1. Okay, you get 1. So from here, it's simple. What you have to do next, you just make what dy dx the subject. So if you make dy dx the subject, you're going to get dy 
the s equal to 1 round cos y. Here, we are not interested in y, so we have to still do the creativity by using the trigonometry, what we have in there, to, us, to change this y to, us, to s. So to do so, to do so, we are going to get sine sin square y plus what? Cos square what? Cos square y equal to 1. So what you have to do is, you have to make what? Cos y the subject. So to make cos y the subject is simple. Just send this one sine square y to the left, right hand side. If you do so, you can get cos square y equal to 1 minus what? Sine square what? Y. This one they are from trigonometry. So if you do so, then this one we know that cos square y is the same as what? Cos y all square is the same as that. So we can choose what to write as what? Cos y all square equals to what? one minus or sine y. Oh sorry, sine square y like this. So here, what you have to do next, just find the square root of on both sides. If you do so, this one cancel this. And you get what? Cos, cos y equals what? Root of what? 1 minus or sine square y. Like this. So here, you can go straight away to, what? to the formula. We have what? We, for the y dx. We have 1 over what? Cos y. But here, what is our cos y? Our cos y is equal to this one. So in place of our cos y, you can put this whole thing what? there. So you are going to get dy dx equal to 1 over square root of what? 1 minus or sine square what? y. Like this. You are not done. You have to also do something over here. You have to do something over here. What you are going to do is your dy dx is equal to what? 1 over what? Root of what? 1 minus what? And sine square y is the same as what? Sine y all square is the same as what that. So from here, from previous questions, you see that your sine y is equal to sine y is equal to x. So this sine y is equal to x. So in place of our sine y, you can put in x. So if you do so, you're going to get 1 over what? root of what? 1 minus what? x squared. And that's the final answer for what? Sine inverse. So the next one is we are going to find the cos inverse. And it's the same procedure.